Never did suffer fools. Damn near killed my brother one time. But my brother always was a fool. And a coward. Yella as pissed on snow. Never could stand him. <laughs> Nor his wife. Lives over in California. By the sea. Pathetic. What kind of a man lives by the sea, I ask you, hmm? Huh? Huh? Kind of man that gets told where to live by his wife. <laughs> Ain't no woman never told me nothing apart from make yourself scarce. And that suits me about fine. All right. Uncle Arthur. You okay? Can I go play with the skulls? Just because you've cleaned up your act don't mean you're better than us now. These the insults, they aren't going to help. Take it easy. I ain't serious. Yes, I guess this has all been a bit much to bear. You okay, Arthur? Sit down. Please. <clears throat> I'm fine. You don't look fine. Well, I had some... Uh, some bad news. Was it Mary? No. No, not exactly. That's me. I'm sick. Sick? Yeah. I might die. Oh. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Me too. Me too. Maybe you'll get better. I don't think so. Then... Then I'm sorry. 
Only the thing is, since then, <clears throat> since then, I've started seeing things differently. I don't know. The whole world seems different somehow. How so? I can't explain it. Like... Like better, almost. That a good thing? I guess it is. Only sometimes I ain't doing the good thing. Maybe it's a sign, Arthur. Try. Try to do the good thing. I guess. Only it ain't always clear what that is. <laughs> <laughs> Not with the big stuff. I know. <laughs> Trust me, I know. Are you here? Don't take it out on me, Arthur. You're normally very good at disappearing. Haven't you got anything better to do? I'm only kidding around. I'm glad you feel like exercise is necessary. Hey. Arthur. Let's try that again. Hello. Hi, hi, hi. Don't get your back up. I'm only kidding. Adults are stupid. Hey. Ah, how did you get on, Mr. Morgan? Just then. Hmm. Just. Get up. What? Get up! What? What is wrong? Nothing's wrong. Nothing at all. What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Get your bag. Is this it? I don't understand. I ain't gonna kill you. Though I probably should. You disgust me. And you shame us. If we could be shamed any more than we already are, that should do. Go! I don't understand you. What are you doing? Go and get a job. You know, they, they say the sick delude themselves. I was your friend. You and me, we ain't decent. But those folk, they was. Now here, take that. Take that and get lost. I'm leaving. Somehow. And who am I? I have no idea. Who are you? Who are you? To question me, I mean. I have always been loyal, Dutch. And I shall go on being loyal, but what are we doing here? We need to move and keep moving. We need... We need money! You dumb fool! Money! Or we are dead! We are all dead! I am doing the best I can. Fool! Don't you worry about him. 
Well, that's the problem. I am worried about him. Well, I suppose I should try to clear my head. There he is. Hello, Arthur. Sit down. These fissures run deep, I'm afraid. Reckon so. Well, I'm surprised you're still around. I'm worried about you all. Well, thanks for sticking by us. How far we've fallen. Everyone acting so crazy, Morgan. I guess folk are real scared. We'll be fine. We always have been. Now, Dutch will see us good. I hope so. Not you as well. Another fella doubting them? You know, I thought. I thought more of you, Morgan. You just follow like a blind dog, don't you? I don't want to hear it out of you, okay? Glad to be home? I almost wish we were back in Guarma. <sighs> I know. Hey, Arthur. You want to talk? You okay, Arthur? Sure. You don't look okay. Uh, I'm fine. What you been doing? Acting like a fool. How so? Killing and robbing folks I didn't need to. My, you have been busy. <laughs> well, that's one way of looking at it. You're a good man, Arthur. Underneath, I mean. I've lost my mind, Mary Beth. It's finally happened. I, I don't feel in control. Just stay calm and do what you do best. It seems I'm best in mayhem. Sure, I'm no better than Micah. Yes, you are. Just do what you gotta do and stop getting into trouble. <clears throat> we'll see. Did what had to be done. I know you did. I'm not saying anything. Okay. There she is. Morning. You all right? Are you all right? Strauss is gone. It was time. Okay, well, let's talk more later. All right, then. Morning. Hey there. Tilly? You ain't gonna kick me out, too, are you? I found this. You said you lost yours. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. Here, please take this. It's the least I can do. Anyway, I won't disturb you. All right. All right, Arthur. <coughs> Mr. Morgan, you don't look very well. Uh, I'm not, Reverend. <coughs> I fear I'm pretty sick. I'm so sorry. You seem well, on the other not hand. Now, yes, sir. I've stopped all that silly business. I think I'm okay. Well, that's wonderful news. <laughs> How? I don't know. 
I met a Catholic lady, a nun, and we prayed, and it was lifted. The curse was lifted. Good. I can't believe it. Really, I can't. All those years I wasted. How are you holding up? Well, I suppose I should be getting off. Right. Don't get Dutch any more worked up than he already is. I don't know what you mean. Molly, I don't believe it. I should have cut her loose months ago. Well, let's get settled into our new home, I guess. Hamish! Arthur! Well, come in. You said we might go out fishing. Don't take much persuading to get me to go fishing. Let's go in my boat. Good. Here she is. You mind rowing? Sure. What are we fishing for? Yeah. Only one thing worth catching in this lake. <laughs> the great tyrant. Oh. <laughs> mean as hell, Northern Pike. Uh. Eats everything else that spawns around here, its own kind included. Well. Is that our bait then? A jack or something? Hell no. He's a clever old bastard. <laughs> I made these. This one's mine. You're gonna have to spare. They are pretty. You don't know the half of it. <laughs> Come on, let's push off. I'll show you where we're rowing to. Take us over there. There to the right. We'll set up ten yards or so offshore. You don't keep far away from me, the tyrant. Wants me to know whose lake it is. We'll show him who's boss. Ha <laughs> ha! The optimism of youth. You got that lore I gave you? Get her out. Right here. Cast off towards the island. Okay. I spent years working on that. Finding the right combination of feathers, twine, and glimmer. Making them, losing them, getting them right. I tried coins, shell cases, even a metal. Finally found something he seems to like. But now I hear you can buy him in a shop. Wouldn't be quite so satisfying. Getting him with something shop bought. Easy for you to say. <laughs> But, maybe I'm inclined to agree. Whoa, what's this? Well, you got something? Ah, I got something, all right. <laughs> uh, hey, him. Hey, you need Come on now, tyrant. I got you. I got you. Come on. <sighs> ah, went all slack. Went all slack. Come back. No, oh, it's a drop back. Uh, Amish. Amish. Stay there. I'm rolling out to you. Real quick. Bastard just bumped me. <laughs> Over here. <laughs> Just my rod. 
Would have gotten my toes, too, if they weren't wooden. You want another go at him? I still got my lure. Nah. He's your fish now. Cast away. We'll come at him from the other way. Row over there. When he bumped me, I had to check twice. Thought I'd find a chunk of me missing. Man eating pie? That would be a first. I'm not so sure. Okay. Okay, right here. Our hopes of catching this bastard lie with you. Cast back to where we were, and make sure to use that lure I gave you. You can speed that up a little. I think... I think I hooked him. Real. Let's land the bastard. Bring it in now. Yes! you now, tyrant! We got you now! Start reeling. you real
<laughs> oh, I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? You caught him! Let's row back. Here, here. Oh, the holder. Pass me the tyrant. That is if you're sure you don't want him. Oh, I ain't gonna poach from your pond. Well, I'll give him his honors then. He sure was something, huh? <laughs> he was. <clears throat> Thanks for taking me out. I appreciate the company. <sighs> That's one hell of a fish. Ain't he something? <laughs> so long. Hey, you ever want to go out hunting? You stop by again. On me. Let's go, girl. Send me the message. <laughs> he won't. I, I, I've been here for, for years and nothing, nothing. <laughs> Are you the signal? I don't think so. <laughs> how, how do you know? How do I know? Well, I, how, do, how do I know? <laughs> yep. Your youthful bloom. It fades. And it's a horror what's left. Don't be like that, Miss Grimshaw. I know how you girls laugh at me. I used to laugh at women just like me when I was young and pretty and sure of the world. We don't laugh at you, miss. You do. And you're right, too. I'm laughable, pitiable, but it'll happen to you, too. They'll stop looking soon enough, and that glass in your hand won't be so friendly, neither. Well, maybe I'll get lucky and die first. Yes. Well, get to work. Vanity won't help you, young or old. Susan. Yeah? What do you think we should do about Dutch? He has a lot of pressure on him. Don't forget all he's done for you. Arthur. 
there. What is it, Arthur? Hey, partner. Boats, you don't want to miss this. Time no see. Take a look. Any questions, feel free not to ask. Okay. Take a browse. Got what I need. I'm looking for my mate Gavin. Somebody help me! Gav? Gav? I've lost my friend. Somebody help me, please! Mister? Uh, listen, have you seen... I I'm looking for my friend Gavin. I don't know any Gavins, I'm afraid. English bloke. Lovely fella. He went missing, and, uh, now I'm all alone. Good luck. That's, uh, that's too bad.
Oh, oh, you came. You came. You finally came. I came. Oh, thank you. Thank you, you lovely, lovely man. Uh, calm down, miss. Oh, come on, let's go. We ain't got a minute to lose. They killed her. They killed Miss Calhoun. All she wanted was a better lot for women, and they killed her, those pigs. Who killed her? I don't know. My cousins, probably, or... Or bows. Well, you met them. They are animals. Not even animals. Monsters. Monsters! If God had lost all his powers of imagination. Can you... Can you please take me to the train station? Bo will be waiting. Bo? Why couldn't he come and rescue you? Well, if they saw me and him together, they'd lynch him and send me off to a nunnery. Or maybe they'd lynch us both. I ain't quite sure. They do so love hanging folk. Where are you heading? Up to Boston. Good. Yeah, I like you up there. Come on. Let's go. Of course. I'm in your hands. Just get me to Rhodes Railway Station. Okay. Let's try and get you a train. Bo's just waiting at the station in the hope you'll show up or I'll show up to help you show up. He goes to there every day he can, makes up some excuse or other. I said he would see me there one day soon, and today he will. God willing. Well, well, if he's there, that's true love, all right. I've hardly seen him since the rally. They watched me so carefully, and he's waited, or so his letters say, our families won't let us out. And then all that business with Aunt Catherine and my cousins. Oh, you saw the house. And then Lee Gray and those boys killed. So much bloodshed. I, you'd think this could be a new beginning, but everyone left alive. They're even more angry. Maybe anger's a complicated thing to let go of. Something good has to come out of this awful, awful feud. That's what I've been hoping. Bo and I have to be better. Our families were here for years and years. Sometimes I feel like we can't just leave death and, and pain and ruination behind us. Plenty before you have. Plenty will again. But, yeah. As far as it goes, get out. Don't look back. Make something decent of your lives. He's a good man, isn't he? Bo. There are worse. He's kind, and he's caring, and he's strong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to laugh. He, he's a lot of things, but... <laughs> and not strong like you, but strong enough to stand up to his family. To be different from folk. You don't know how hard that can be. To say something is wrong when everyone around you thinks it's right. No. Perhaps I don't. He is a good man. He's lucky. You're both lucky to have each other. This could be the best day of my life. 
or the worst. I can't bear not knowing which. Hold on. You'll be clear soon enough. We're here. He he'll be out at the front. Will you ride on the train with us a little, just just to the first stop? Fine. Three tickets to San Denis, please, sir. Of course. Oh, hello, sir. Hello, Alden. I hope all is well. Uh, not terribly. But good to see you. Hey, cousin. No, hey, no, you uh, slow. Banana, but get back. Uh, excuse me, Alden. Get on the train. Get your bags, miss. I got this. Come here, Yankee. With pleasure, you goddamn fool. I don't want to come back here without giving you a whipping. We should have done this last time. Get on the train, Pope. Go to your woman. Four fists and maybe one brain. Oh, now there's only one here. All right, all done. That is quite a family you've got there, son. I know. Charming to the last. Then again, my uncle used to keep his own half-brother as a slave, so what do you expect? Good manners? My uncle used to say things were better the way they were when he could rape and kill with impunity, and he didn't have to work a day in his life. Both our families. There's good people in this county, but our families bully them and drove most of them off, whites as well as blacks, all over this silly feud. Well, how to life? Oh, my lord. What? Oh, I think it's my second cousin. What is with all these goddamn cousins? I think they found out about the jewels. All right, keep your heads down. I'll deal with this. Jewels? I knew you had some damn jewels. They're coming from over the hill. You must have all the jewels in the... Banana people! 
Look! Is that the driver? He's abandoning us! Hold tight, all right? I'll take a look up front. What will you do? I'll figure it out! Damn it, you did run. Remind me to rob your trains, mister. Let's see now. We stopped. It's best you go on alone from here. Mr. Arthur, I didn't know you could drive a train. Neither did I. <laughs> but if I'm honest, it was kind of fun. <laughs> and I didn't kill any of us. Well, I killed some of your relatives, but they would have killed all of us. You are a gentleman, sir. <laughs> oh, no, I ain't. Yes, you are. Here, I ain't got much money, but these sapphires are worth a lot of money. Old... Family heirloom. That Braithwaite treasure. Thank you. Now, let's get you off to Boston before any more of your relatives show up. That might be wise. Hey, you there? Yeah? This couple is heading up north to the Boston line. They got money, they'll pay you on arrival. That work for you? Yeah, sounds fine. Get on in. Hey, uh... You carry protection on a journey like this? <laughs> Wouldn't be much of a stage driver if I didn't. Goes everywhere I do. Hey! Well, Miss Braithwaite is gonna hold on to this until they're out. Mm -hmm. 
On account of the treasure on your person. I don't know how to thank you. Uh -huh. You're a fine man, sir. Just get out of here. I'll leave. Yeah!